What's going on, my Brood War brothers? Welcome back to another Ladder Series cast. Here we have Larva in the top right-hand corner. His opponent, Royal, over in the top left. And unfortunately, Larva is out with a wrist injury. Uh, this game is from 2021, so I'm on a quest here to do some casts, some good casts uh, from the past that uh, maybe haven't been covered on other channels. I know there's a lot of overlap recently because both Artosis and I and even Tasteless sometimes are using similar replays from seawall.gg. It is what it is. Um, but, uh, you know, I want to throw some different games in here and there just to keep it interesting, if you know what I mean. Now, I just got back from Osaka. Wow, a lot of chatter here. Not sure if Royal actually knows that this is Larva or not. I'll probably try and get that translated. Although, you know what? I can't. I, I don't think I'll be able to find this on Seawall.gg. I'm almost 100% certain that this uh, Royal Cal um, tag is actually not there anymore. So I probably won't be able to find that. Um, apologies for that, guys. Maybe somebody will uh, put some uh, translation in the chat or in the comments. Uh, if not, just assume that maybe they know who each other are. We've got Royal here, just opening up very normally, and Larva doing the same thing. You know, back in 2021, it wasn't super common to have uh, the Terran players going for really early eight racks and and uh, those early Marine pressures. It's kind of come into style here in like 20. 2023-2024 um, that style where you're kind of like pushing out with naked marines and trying to put some pressure on and slow down the Zerg just that little touch extra and we might see that kind of fall back into obscurity once again in the future um, if Zerg players get better and better at defending that and making more and more lings then that'll be kind of become kind of antiquated again but for now, we're going to be watching Larva here getting some good harassment damage done on this SCV. You can see that he actually parked the, the drone for a moment. Just out of range of the uh, the vision range of, of Royal there. And waited until the CC actually got thrown down before he came in. Usually what you actually want to do um, is run in and block don't allow the CC to come down right away. Force them to make a Marine first. And then come, you know, uh, and then once the Marine starts, then, you know, you just keep blocking until the Marine pops out and then you can run away. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the uh, back and forth that you see with Protoss versus Zerg, right? As the, the Protoss comes in, they try to block the hatchery. Um, the, the Zerg can come in and block the, the CC. It just slows things down a bit. But in this case, Royal's going to get his CC up on time. Did have to do a little fancy juggling uh, with the drone and that to just try and keep uh, everything on the up and up there. Did we lose the drone? I think we might have lost the drone. Try to picture and picture that if um, I missed that. Drone going down. I don't see it uh, back at home here. Or maybe that's the one right there. That one's got some lower HP. So maybe no picture in picture needed. Link's going to come in here towards the natural. This is a very nice setup here from Royal. Now that one Marine is kind of on the outside there. That should get picked off for sure. That goes down. One more Marine could fall. But Lings are actually getting traded out. And right before speed finished as well. Which is not good at all for Larva. Indeed Larva making even more Lings. And he's sending in more and more lings here oh boy this is kind of rough for larva royal is losing some of these marines. i didn't get in the gap there didn't manage to get in the gap but you know what i think he's going to be 100 percent fine he lost a few marines but and even sending in some more lings it's pretty darn rough larva is super all in right now for this game number one and royal has just kind of held off everything perfectly uh, not exactly perfect, but, you know, good enough to where he's probably not going to be able to lose here. Does lose a few more Marines, 
Unfortunately, you know, he didn't have the block gear with some SCVs behind. Um, he will pop out a few more. What? Wait, wait, wait. Why is this Marine in front of the SCVs there? That is a little bit funny. Should be able to get the surround on a few of these lings. Lings are starting to fall. Five mutas are on the way, and we don't have turrets yet. Wait a second. As a roll kind of botched this here, I really felt like he was going to be able to win, but somehow... Larvas managed to get in there with the Lings and deal enough damage to where actually these mutas could just kill. We're going to jump on top of that Marine. Four Lings will definitely kill that, even with the Medic Repair. They are very low, though. Getting a couple more SCVs. He just really wants to deny turrets right now. And look at that. Turret is not done. Not even close. He's going to be able to kill that SCV no problem. And probably halt this turret from ever making at least force like a lot of SCVs to go down here. He should target the Marines because they're not covered by the medics. And um, the number of mutas here, he, he should be able to one shot. Now, Larva is very all in, but I think this is just barely going to be enough. Jumping on top of a turret right now. He does lose one muta, but he's still got six. Oh, one more muta goes down. So five mutas now. Can bounce the Glaives, hitting some of these SCVs, dealing a little damage here and there. Back up to six once again. More Marines coming out. If a Marine pops out right now, he could definitely gun that down. Two more Mutas on the way, but there's really nothing behind this. GG is called Royal Taps out of game number one. Dude, what happened with Royal here? I'm really confused about that Marine positioning. That was... Pretty darn silly. Okay, so this did run home. We won't have to picture and picture that. Let's just take another look here. So right here, Royal is in a really good spot. Look at only one Ling able to attack right now. And it does finally get two Lings for surface area. This part, he tries to pull the Marine forward. Look, he tries to send it through, but it doesn't actually make it. It just stopped. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That's going to cause more Marines to fall. <clears throat> There's still more Lings coming. But we've got some time right now, right? We do have a bit of time. So, really, Royal, place one SCV here. Bring all your Marines over to here. And have your workers either go back to the Mineral Patches right here. Or have a couple of them just stand right here. Because as soon as the Lings try to run... If they try to run this way, of course, there's some SCV blocking. But if they run this way, then you can pull the Marines off of the war the Minerals and just stand in front. Stand in front of the Marines and you should be fine. Even wasting two Lings here. How the heck? How, how did Royal lose this, man? Let's just see this positioning here. I really think, like, this, this is a big mistake right now. Like, what is he doing in his main... He goes back to start his stim, I guess. Right now. Dude, put your SCV in between, man. What are we doing? What is so important that we're not doing this? He moves them up into the top left corner again. Oh my goodness. Here comes the Lings. This is just so bad. Another Marine pops out. He's got the SCVs in front. But he's opened up this hole here. And the Lings are going to be able to come in and get the flank. Ugh. Dude. Dude, not having this here is actually unforgivable. That is so bad. Well, damn, man. Larva just taking it to Royal in 2001. Seems like he really had the upper hand on him. That should have been a win for Royal. Let's see if we can bring it back in game number two. So, guys, I am back from Osaka. By the way, I just went for Sakura. It's Sakura season here in Japan. Went to go hang out with a friend of mine that I met in Colombia. Was it last year? Two? No, ah, last year, I guess. Jeez. No, two years ago now. Um, Last year was absolutely mad, guys. So, it's really hard for me to remember quite really how long it's been. But, um, had a good time. Now my wife is sick. She's in bed. I'm taking care of her right now. And I'm probably going to end up getting sick as well. We'll see. Hopefully not. But, uh, if there's some hiccups in the 
replays this week, uh, in the cast this week, then that's probably the reason why. Um, some sort of cold or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but not feeling good. Um, body aches and throat's sore. And funnily enough, Shun is also sick right now too. So my, uh, my wife and my internet wife are both sick. So I'm not going to be far behind most likely. We've got the same build here out of Royal. Probably the same build out of Larva as well. What is this map? I actually... I remember this map, but I do not remember the name of it. This is... um. This is really reminiscent. I remember this map very clearly. But... Um, it's been cycled out of the map pool. There's another base right here. Small choke. The huge middle of the map. <clears throat> I don't remember if there's another ramp here. I don't think so. Kind of a funky map. But pretty standard. In comparison to something like Troy. Um, it's much more reminiscent of like... A... Uh, circuit breakers or something like that I'm like a circuit breakers type of map but um, I remember it being pretty darn balanced nothing super wrong with it um, some maps like this you would definitely love to see it instead of like a Troy or something uh, in the map pool for ASL this season uh, or even a dark origin I'd rather have a map like this than a dark origin that's for sure Dark Origin, such a weird map, honestly. It's like a destination revamp. Not a big fan. Oh, there's that. That's funny. I don't remember that. All right, let's 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 actually take a look at this map. Because I really don't remember this. Oh, wow. I do not remember this in the middle of the map. That is funny. Hmm, are we going to see Lings again here from Larvae? He's gone into the speed. Of course, just normal things after layer, but yeah, I really remember this space. This this space, I remember a lot of times getting broken on this space, like trying to take this base and ended up losing it. Um, Protoss players coming down this ramp, having a ton of lurkers here, and they just break right through. Very annoying stuff. That's my reminiscence of this map. Having to, like, trying to hold here and everywhere the Protoss is coming down on top of you. It's a little bit rough. Um, just not a good situation. No matter how you slice it. That was back when I was pretty darn bad at Zerg. I've, I've improved a lot, I think. Uh, over the past few months, even. Uh, to where I would definitely want to focus more on, like, getting this contain. Getting these high grounds on the... The Protoss side of the map rather than being contained <clears throat> and being more passive. So I would definitely play this a lot differently if this rotated back into the map pool, which you know I would I would be a fan of. I think that would be kind of that would be kind of relevant. This map would be pretty relevant in today's uh meta. Wouldn't be too bad, like I said, better than Troy. Now pretty much a two hatch muta play. Here from Larva. He's gone for eight lings. Just putting the fear of God into Royal here. Does he overmake anything? Does he overmake Marines? Does he try to make a fire bat here or something? Does he put down a bunker? Oh boy. Really good play here from Larva. Kind of holding back a few lings and surprising Royal there a little bit. With that sudden run forward. Getting a couple of Marines and just kind of slowing everything down. This is going to allow... Larva to not make sunkins at all. The fact that he was able to to get a couple kills there and slow things down a little bit, no sunkins will have to be made this this game. And I mean, he made eight links, so it's not a huge victory. But you don't want to make eight links and have to make sunkins. That is for sure. One or the other is uh, the way you want to go. And he's he's successfully done what he wanted to do with those slings, I'll say. Four racks play here out of Royal. Will he go to five racks? 2021, I think five racks was more popular. 
with the slower factory, but we'll see. Well, just with one SCV mining that gas, optimizing his minerals here, getting both scanners as well. Gets a scan in the main. He sees only Muta swapping. And he's got turrets being built here over at the front. It's kind of funny looking at this. Um, I just recently was playing on ladder or on um, stream today. I was playing Brood War Ultimate, uh, StarCraft Brood War Alternate Campaign, and in that campaign, the drones build buildings like SCVs build buildings. Very very funny. And there's no uh, creep either. You just build like a Terran player with drones. Very very strange, but it was fun. Last mission was super, super hard, but we did manage to take it down. If I put that up on the channel here a little bit later. As we've got the mutas just kind of flunk flanking these marines. And this is always a dangerous point here for both players, for both sides. There's quite a bit of danger involved. Don't have any sunkens here yet. One is coming up now. He's kind of lost track of where the marines are, but he's found them again. We'll back away as the stim comes through. But we can't be losing this group of marines right now. It's, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world if we lose it because we do have four racks, but we want to reinforce it. And look at this. Reinforcements are going to come through. Larva making a bit of a mistake here. Fighting the marine and medic on the field and not catching the reinforcements, unfortunately. He's going to pull a few meters out of the stack. The ones that have been most badly damaged here. Uh, that's unfortunate. He accidentally pulled them all together once again. Looking for this marine medic on the map. Another wave of reinforcements coming out. But Larva's not getting behind this in order to catch these reinforcements. He's kind of fighting them head on, which is exactly what the Terran player wants. They want you to keep battling here uh, with the front, the tip of the spear. Oh, accidentally gunning down one of his own marines. Bit of... A betrayal there. Team kill uh, on that one Marine. No split offs here from Royal to, you know, head something down to the bottom left hand corner. Trying to micro two packs of Mutas right now, I think. His Larva is doing his best, but he's losing more than, you know, he's losing too much to where he's actually got less than a pack of Mutas. So he is going to bring them all together now and he will clear this out, but that was quite a lot of loss um in terms of just what he invested into the meta he did end up losing quite a bit however the transition is coming evolution chambers on the way hive is on the way lurker upgrade is on the way so larva should be able to get lurkers over here because we did have that reset in the marine count royal cannot push out here for quite some time he's gonna have to just stay very very defensive he's built a lot of turrets here feeling like he's not in a good position he's going to really focus on those defenses he's got a pretty good size chunk of marine medic it's kind of crazy how much marines uh how many marines can pop out for the terran player on four racks it's just a lot a lot a lot a lot of marines coming out here plus one is done plus one armor is coming plus one attack is done for these amitas so he's going to continue to just kind of harass here as much as he can until the science vessel comes online so nice letting that burn down once the science vessel comes online these amitas will have to be on defensive duty it's most likely we've got lurker upgrade nearly complete extra hatches are coming online now defiler mound Popping out. Ooh, coming in and losing quite a few mutas here. Trying to get some damage done in the main, but really getting shut down out of this area. And this will allow Royal to now move out on the map. And do we have actual lurkers here? Okay, we do have lurkers ready. Oh, no. Larva. Ooh, larva, 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 larva. That is not good. Now these will have to be sent to defend. No doubt here he's going to send these all the way back home. Nidus Canal is up now. He'll have to connect that here over to the natural. Add on a few more sunkins in that. 
get himself into a good defensive position here because Royal has just been unleashed on the map. He is now in full form here, heading down towards the bottom left, and it's up to Larva to get completely prepared for this. Have enough army in position. He's going to try to block. Okay, that's fine. He likes that. That's not a big deal. One Lurker does get irradiated. That's that's not good, but he ate one irradiate with the uh, meter there. So that's... That's fine, I think, for Larva. The less Lurkers you have to build, the better. Um, one meter, not gonna... No no skin off his, his back there. Just going to rotate around. Keep an eye on where this Marine Medic is moving. Try to have Scourge in the wings, waiting in the wings, ready to dive upon that now. It appears that Royal just wants to go for pure vessel to counter this composition. He's not interested in going into dropships, at least not yet anyway. And this is a style that I find to be very difficult to deal with. I know that uh, to, as a pro player, this is something that you've trained a lot, but it is not easy. It is not easy to continuously make sure that you have lurkers um, in position with defilers coming out to support them uh, and scourge to try and uh, hit the science vessels all while being irradiated over and over and over and over again it's it's a lot to deal with it really is we're gonna get some irradiates here i think on some of these mutas not the highest quality irradiates i would much rather see royal Make another pull, make another round over here. Just come back up to the natural, irradiate a bunch of stuff. Um, and then rotate back down over to here. Looks like he's actually going to head towards the bottom left. And he has a floating building over towards that natural. So he will see if anything's coming out. Nice first plague. Larva getting a great plague on a ton of different vessels. That is going to be painful here for Royal. Now, Royal can't actually build any factory units right now, which is not great. Um, but he does have some good information here on uh, as to what is actually coming out of the Zerg, which is always crucial. Try to get rid of that factory as quickly as he can. Some Lings are going to come from the backside. Should be able to surround this and kill it. That's quite a lot of Lings, and they've got that plus one done now. They will surround and kill Marines heading up towards this top left with their plus two plus two almost done. They're going to have a, a upgrade advantage, although not for long as the second carapace is coming up here soon. Um, unfortunately for Royal, it seems like Larva has managed to get this base down here pretty smoothly. We're at 14 minutes. And this is just about to come online. Bases are being taken here. But Royal um, struggling to find any damage. He's going to probably set up a bunch of bunkers at both of these locations. There are battle cruisers coming and you'll love to see it. Titan Reactor is on the way right here. That's that science vessel upgrade. And the, the Yamato Cannon, of course, coming online as well. More irradiates coming down here. Looks like at the front. No, no irradiates, actually. And all of these science vessels are very, very deep red. Kind of a dangerous spot to be standing right there, Royal. If there was a Defiler making its way out, could have easily landed a big plague on every single unit in that army. Would have been uh, disastrous for Royal at that moment. But he does manage to pull back. Head down here towards the bottom left and get a few more quality irradiates down at this base here. About time to get a spore, I was going to say. Yeah, there it is. Spore coming out here. With the... Um, Vessels being irradiated. 
Just one hit from the spore will pick them off. So it's really, really nice to build one spore at the front so that the vessels just cannot approach. They can't do anything about it. He's going to just quickly hop out of the bunker and stim, jump back in. It looks like that'll be enough to actually hold off all of these lings here that have made their way to that third base. He should rebuild those bunkers. Just continue to strengthen that position there. Unfortunately, factory will burn down. So hopefully he started a third. Yeah, there it is. Third starport is here. BCs are at the front. Oh my god. Just losing two vessels right there. That is brutal. That is so brutal. Um, no medics with this, funnily enough. There's some medics actually crossing the map. Looks like they will get trapped here and killed by a bunch of these lings. Good target firing by uh, Larva, but he won't be able to get them all. Great flag here. Right on top of a bunch of these Marines and Medics. And I think that Larva is just kind of out playing Royal right now. Is getting him into a rough position, but Royal does have a lot of income. Where is he going to go with these first few battle cruisers? Because they need to do some work. The Ultras are out here with that four armor. He does pick off the Defiler at least. It's like this army in the middle of the map will be engulfed. They still got some Marine Medic moving around. And he will be able to get a Radiates on most of these. Plus there's no Defiler here. So maybe he can hold this. He actually has loaded the bunker. Okay, he does load in. But the bunkers are not going to be repaired here. Which means that this is all going to go down. Um, no Defiler coming. Oh, some Lurkers make their way up here. That's pretty funny. These Lurkers running up. Um, being quite the nuisance. And the Ultralisk with the Irradiate on it is going to deal a ton of damage here to all of these SCVs. SCVs are going down en masse now. And the battle cruisers are going to come to support. They have that plus one, which means they one-shot Scourge no matter how much armor they have. And they have no armor right now. So one-shotting will be occurring here. Lings and Ultras making their way down to the six o'clock. Or this bottom right base, I guess that would be the five o'clock. Ultras getting on top of the bunker. But the repair here is good. Finally, a good repair here from Royal. Able to save one of these bunkers critically. Able to keep that alive. Going to shut down this base as well, which is huge. We're approaching that 20-minute mark. It's not far off now. And that'll be when the geysers start to deplete. Look at that. 19 minutes. We've already depleted our first geyser. So we are no longer on four gas as of now. We're on something like three and a quarter. Something like that. Now, Marines here are going to try and block this, but eventually Larva is going to start to take bases. He's got a base at the center left now being taken. He's going to try and take this other base here as well. Some lings are being burrowed all over the map. Love to see it. Larva, creative as always, burrowing some lings to try and spot some bases. Gonna throw down a Yamada cannon. Very nicely done. Yamada will kill the Defiler, even if it's under Dark Swarm. Backing up here, spreading the battle cruisers. Gonna throw down a D Matrix. I think that D Matrix accidentally went on one of the Ultras there. So a bit of a misstep from Royal. And the Marines are gonna end up going down. There's the D Matrix now on some of these battle cruisers. Maybe he can throw down. Okay, did get another irradiate there. Um, but looks like the uh, Scourge going to come through. Deal with the majority of these BCs. There's another BC going down, unfortunately. BC is just getting killed by one Hydralisk. Really, really annoying stuff. Ling's going to make their way around to the center right. And now the aggression is going to turn on to Royal side of the map in a big way. Tons of lings and ultras popping out everywhere, and it's going to be really hard pressed to hold all these bases. Now, he does have BCs overhead, which get insane value um, as the lings and ultras try to fight with the uh, SCVs 
marines and fire bats here but coming in now with the scourge can he get a bunch of the vessels he does get quite a few and a lot of scvs are going down right now quite a lot of scvs being targeted here by larva finally will clear everything but royal as the dust settles another base is coming online here for larva and royal is just not growing anymore he can't really grow anymore where can he take a base maybe up here try to throw down some factories but there's already uh burrowed lings up in the top right hand corner things are just not looking too good for him larva has his next base online but this is just about to mine out so he's gonna be on four gas but only for a moment or so or two and then suddenly he'll be back down onto three gas once again or like a three and a half i guess or yeah yeah three and a half something like that ultras here are gonna be cleaned up by the bcs eventually bcs do a lot of damage to ultra that's quite a lot of bcs at this point nice see mato cannon just gonna finish off that ultra as well um counter attacks here are very very good but the bunkers have been rebuilt and you know that's that's some really good play by royal you got to give it up to him for continuously making these bunkers over and over again and look at this hydras are gonna get picked off they do not have good upgrades so they are gonna get wiped out really really quick here it's like some scourge will connect but uh, the hydras really not doing their job here really not getting that value it's like another bio force gonna move over towards this left side I don't know if it's going to make any progress, though. We do have more Ultras coming up, and a Defiler going to make its way forward here as well. With the uh, Dark Swarm, he definitely should be able to clear all of this. However, maybe the Battle Cruisers can get something done while this army is being cleaned out. Would like to see some D-Matrix going down. He's probably got the energy for that. No, he's actually spent everything. He spent all the energy already. I'm going to kill off this hatchery over here. Not bad for Royal really not bad at all and look at this so many battle cruisers here he picks off that battle cruiser it's almost time to get um restore restoration can he yamato cannon this hatchery to death okay he's actually gonna go for the yamato on the spore which i'm a bit surprised about um another yamato should come down on the defiler actually uh yamato on defiler is really really good um not enough energy on this one defiler and he will uh yamato that so the yamato on the defiler is good the marine medic gonna come up to support these battle cruisers looks like probably two of them are gonna go down but the hydras all fall that was a great trade for royal picking up a lot of hydras and a few defilers plus he can start to run in here oh boy tons of units up uh down on that low ground for larva probably gonna be enough oh boy dude he is actually holding pretty well right now firebats get under into the dark swarm maybe he can push this back not quite this barely not quite another rally making its way across here but there's ultras there are hydras here and he will be pushed away some irradiates can come down but a lot of these science vessels are very low he is gonna end up losing that Darn, Royal was close, man. He was really, really close. Now, taking a look at the gases here. This is depleted. We're on like two and three quarters gas at this point. This gas is okay. This gas is okay. Everything else is mined out. This one's going to come online here shortly. Royal needs to push forward and actually stop this gas. But even if he does, I don't think it's going to totally matter. Just because... Larva does have that base in the top left coming up now. That one is going to give him the longevity to keep going forward in this game. He can't be super wasteful, though. If he loses this base right quick, and Royal starts to get on top of his rallies and stuff, get radiates down on his defilers as they're popping out, that could be really bad. Um, sick dodge on those Scourge. Really, really well done by him. And the battle cruiser is going to push forward with this uh, marine medic army. This is getting to be a kind of an insane game, guys. Is Royal actually going to be able to do this? Well, he's probably not going to do it with this army. 
But he has another army heading up here. No, more ultras over here. Oh boy, okay. I think he's getting kind of close to mining out. We are getting a little bit low here. We do have a bunch of scans going down in this long push across the map. This parade push of Marines has been going. It's very StarCraft 2 esque actually. What we've been seeing this game with the Marines just parading across and you know grouping up with the other units and just fighting over and over again. It's not going to work out for Royal. He taps out and Larva once again victorious, although it did have a very steep price, man. He was really struggling in that game. Looks like he didn't have any Marines in these bunkers over here, so he was losing this base while all this action was happening. Ouch. Royal putting up a good fight there, but Larva once again asserting his dominance here in game number two. Well, 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 here we are again. The same exact map with Larva in the top right hand corner of this time and roll down here in the bottom left pretty fun game that last one gotta say it's a little bit different from the types of games we see these days these days it's all about dropships guys in 2024 dropships are king you take map control and then you start off with the drops and you just don't stop until really either the zerg is dead or they've completely sealed off their bases from drops then even then you can start to send in battle cruisers to open up positions to get the drops in there it really feels like dropship play is in style right now and well i honestly i struggle with drops but i think i struggle more with the type of style that uh royal played last game which is just constant constant irradiates over and over and over again I know it doesn't seem like that much, and really I should be able to handle it, but just need some more practice, I guess, handling all of those different tasks, building defilers, building lurkers, building drones in between all of that and getting all the upgrades. There's just a lot going on, and I often find myself in the position where I did a lot of damage in the early game with my, or in the mid game with my mutas, and I've got myself onto three bases, and then as I'm getting onto four, even though I have a great advantage, I end up getting broken somewhere, somehow. And Terran players are very, very good at doing it. And Royal, we'll see if he's able to get in this time, deal that damage, see if he can shut down Larva while he's trying to make that transition. It's like, there's a couple of different ways to play, right? But um, in the current, meta in 2024 meta i feel like you have maybe three four chances as the terran player before you have like three or four different moves you can make right even if one of the moves or even if three of the moves don't work if one of them manages to get through and deal a whole bunch of damage then you can continue to play but if everything fails and the zerg gets on a four four bases all four of your moves have failed then I feel like you are in such a bad position, you are going to lose that game. So let's see what kind of moves Royal brings out here. And by moves, I mean like drop play. I mean like a bust at the natural or the third or fourth base. Looks like some Ling's going to make their way across here. It was a pool first this time. Just making the standard six Ling's and going to go into a normally timed expansion here after this. We'll have the layer on the way let's see what uh, larva can do with this because he's spent a lot to get these six links out early i don't know why we're actually coming down the ramp right now i think this is a bad idea roll coming out to check at least to see if there's more links but he can see back at home there's none being produced okay actually two more links are going to come up that's most likely to just push away this scv you can't allow that to be there forever and see everything that's going on in your main so he will build those, and he will get the SCV too. That's big. Now he can send the other Lings across the map and join up. He will have eight Lings on the other side of the map, and with speed, that can get kind of scary, as we've seen before. Now, two more drones going to pop out here back at home. We're going to be going for what appears to be, I think, a plus one. Quick plus one here from Royal. 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but it looks to me like a quick plus one. There's a bunker coming down at the front. Refinery here. Finishing up, and we don't have that second Rax just yet. So will he go for the quick plus one? How's the academy already? Academy rush, it looks like. Oh, good pulling back by Royal. This fight at the front goes his way. He picks off all of the Marines. He loses about four uh, Marines overall. He picks off all the Lings, loses four Marines. Stepping all over myself here, guys. Sorry about that. There's the second barracks. So it was the academy rush here. Second barracks is a little slower just because the entire build has to be slower with the uh, Ling pressure here in the early game. But he will still be able to potentially move out here. He just needs to wait for a medic to pop. We should have Stim on the way now. There's the Stim. A medic going to start in a moment. Everything has indeed been slowed down just a little bit, though. We're at 5 minute 10, and we're just starting to move out here. We don't have a medic yet. That's uh, that's a little bit rough here for Royal. You'd like to be moving out at uh, 5 minutes with the two medics, about 8 to 10 Marines. Um, and that's just not going to be in, in the, uh, well, 6 to 8 Marines, I guess. That's not going to be in the cards here. Pumping out four lings to try and slow this down. He didn't build any sunken colonies. And he misses with the lings. Oh my god, this is really bad. He missed the he missed the marines with the lings. This is super, super bad for him. He is gonna get stim here right at the perfect moment. The stim finishes. He's gonna target down one muta. Can he actually get the muta? He doesn't. The lings will come in. The muta here at the front. Gonna go down. Oh, two mutas died there. Really good stuff here for Royal. Oh, a bit of miscontrol, really, from Larva here. Man, he really messed that up. It's super hard to uh, get your mutas to move properly in these type of situations. But what you can do to make it a little bit easier is when your Spire is about to pop, you select all of your Larva, you put them on a hotkey, and then you make the mutas. Uh, and then as they're popping out, you can just... Uh, you know, hit the hit the button that you put the them on the um, the hotkey, and it makes it a little bit easier. You can also you know grab one of these overloads, put it in the hotkey. As soon as they pop out, you can start microing them. It's just a little bit tough to do, especially in a tent situation. And you know the moves here from Larva were not that great. Plus, he went for this early uh, pool timing. So really, Royal is in. A winning spot right now. He's gone for three barracks straight into factory. So he's going to have tech out very, very quickly. And Larva has no way of knowing about that, this. He could be in a game with another four racks play, uh, uh, you know, tear and play here. But he's just not. He has to find out about this. He actually needs to come in and find out about this factory here so he can start his uh, hive. Otherwise, he's not going to be in a good spot. He does fly in. He's got the uh, seven meters, so he can start to one-shot SCVs, but Royal immediately moving across the map. He actually needs to leave. He needs to go back home right now. Oh, man. Larva, not respecting it, man. Not respecting it at all. I'm going to start to send his Mutalist back home, but, man, the Marines have already made their way across the map. They're going to be able to clump up. And slowly make their way over towards this uh, natural. And there's not really much he can do about it. He's still... Okay, he does have a third. I thought he was going to build one up here. But he's built the third over at the 12 o'clock. Could lose an overlord here. Nice first volley. Picking off, what, two, three marines there. Another nice volley. Does lose one muta, but... Going to get a medic as compensation. I don't know what this drone is doing here. Just being a part of the battle right now, for whatever reason. Mutas are getting kind of low. Six Mutas left, and he will just dive here onto the Marines, picking them off and actually securing his position quite nicely. Oh! Marines head up to the top left. That's interesting. He sent these up here to potentially kill some drones, but this is just not where he decided to take his base. It's here at the 12 o'clock. We're probably going to see Hydralis Defiler play to follow this up. Hydroden is done. 
And sorry, I had to sneeze there. Looks like we're gonna lose these Marines. Hope that's not me getting sick, guys. Really hoping not. Gotta keep, uh, gotta keep rolling here. We're gonna do a podcast this week. We're gonna be doing uh, KCM this week as well. It's really starting to heat up over there, so hopefully I can uh, stay on top of this. I'm gonna be drinking lots of tea. Just chilling out, taking it easy. It's like two turrets going down here in the main. The Needless health getting a little bit low. He's gonna drop back all the way into this corner. We'll see that the science facility is just about done. I think he might have, oh no, he didn't get the cancel on that or kill the SCV that was building that. Start to fly out, coming back in. Doing some more damage here, picking off another turret. The uh, Mutas are starting to get low, but he's actually sending a lot of stuff across the map. Look at all the yellow dots. That must be lurkers here. No, that's only Hydra's, uh, the, the aspect ability is coming up right now. So Hydra's only coming across the map here with some Mutas. He actually needs to keep the Marines in the base. He has to keep the Marines in the base. If he can get five lurkers out in the front, it's going to be very hard to break out. He's got three there. Three more there. He's going to have six soon. And when when those are in the front, I mean, we can still break out with the starports, with the vessels coming. But it's going to take some time. And that might be just enough time for... Uh, Larva, what is he doing, actually? I don't see a queen's nest. I don't see a hive. What is actually happening right now? He scans. He sees the third, finally. He knows where it is, but two two bunkers here in the front. No Marines in two of them, or only two Marines in one of them. Kind of funny. A lot of lurkers coming out here. Here comes the Marines running down the ramp. He is going to back off. Just going to set the lurkers up here at the front. And dude, what is what is the follow up here for Larva? This is a little bit funny, right? He doesn't have any upgrades. He doesn't have any hive so what is the plan is he just gonna go for it oh he's just gonna bum rush this let's see if he can get this done he's gonna target onto the marines here on the left hand side but the the uh, lurkers are getting quite low nice job with the mutas though really focusing down a lot of these marines very very quickly the lurkers are gonna get right here next to the ramp and the scvs are gonna get annihilated as they try to escape very nicely done here. These gotta have a lot of kills. Six, 12, 13 kills, seven kills on that one. And he's just gonna have to back off now. Well, I don't know if that was enough damage, guys. What do you think? Do you think he did enough damage here? 19 to 23, ah, still. The Terran player is very robust and the vessel count is gonna continue to rise. We've got three now. And we're gonna have tanks coming soon nothing except for units in this uh tab here it's only mining with one drone on gas he's just trying to end the game right here right now no follow-up here for larva larva coming in once again this time with the mutas on the right hand side link's gonna come forward to abandoning the natural is a pretty decent plan he should know now that this is all Larva has. He's just banking everything on a win right here, right now. And if he doesn't manage to get it, he's gonna be in a very bad way. Even Firebat's coming out right now because he knows what a desperate situation this is for Larva, as long as he has something. And those Firebats do have a bit of extra HP. They're gonna be able to hold the front line for a little bit longer. Nice pick off on one of those vessels. Larva just going to back up once again. That one Lurker not going to be able to get any more kills, I think. Oh, the double damage. Right as the Lurker died, it shot one last shot. And when it happens like that, double damage does occur. Starting to move out here. Four Overlord, Five Overlords are going to get picked off. I think this is it, guys. Nothing here from Larva. He really can't do anything about this. And all these Overlords going down, there's really no way to recover from such a bad situation such as this he will get one more vessel and he has another round of mutas coming in so he can jump on this 
All right, he's gonna clear all the uh, Marines anyway. The Marines are all gonna go down. The vessel's gonna go down. That's a lot of vessels falling, man. That is a lot of killed vessels and more mutas are coming. Dude, what is this game right now? Did Royal just throw everything away? I feel like he should have just stayed back a little bit. Although it did seem like Larva was just dead. Right? Larva was... Or, you know, he just really did seem dead when he had all these overlords here. And nothing really to help. No lurkers or anything. But the this pure mutalisk rally overcoming the bioforest, the lings, the mutas taking over. He's only got one vessel left, man. One vessel, one irradiate. That's all he can pull together right now. He's got to make it count here. He's got, what is this? Like nine Marines? Nine Marines, that's it. He's going to try and save the command center. He has to save that. One irradiate does go down. He's eating a lot of that damage. He does try to pull out, but man, that was a lot of damage. Holy crap. He kills the vessel, but dude, he ate so much damage. Coming back in with the 11 mutas, can he actually kill off all of these Marines? He actually has to kill the vessel as well. He will get one shot on that. He needs three hits. So two more hits need to come down and he is like five seconds away from having that energy. More Scourge coming up. Can he actually pick off this command center? I'd love to see him go for the tank right now. The tank is kind of exposed. 18 HP, 18, 18. I think he got it. Four, three, two, one. Boom, baby, he gets it. Oh. You love to see it. Larva takes out the CC there. Dude. That was so clutch. That was so close. More lurkers coming here. Still nothing but units from Larva. Again, he has to win right now. There's no other choice. Can he get the vessel? He does. He gets the vessel. But the lurkers are in a bad spot right now. Gonna come forward, try to take a fight here with the 1-1 Marines. It's pretty tough. The Lurkers are gonna burrow. They do burrow in the middle of all of this. The Marines getting a pretty good spread, but the uh, Lurkers do manage to clean. Mutas, though, have been taken out in large number. GG is called. Royal taps out. A good final maneuver there from Royal, though, to try and win by getting on top of the Lurkers while they were in their eggs. Just very good control from Larva overall, though. And I don't think that Royal did anything, frankly, like really, really wrong in that game. I feel like he played pretty darn good overall. But man, Larva finding a way back in this game, even after losing so much here at the Natural, he lost like two or three of his uh, mutas right off the bat. He might have lost a couple of drones too. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think he might have ran out here to avoid most of those deaths. But dude, he had hardly any economy in this game. His economy was absolutely terrible. Oh, did we run out of minerals? Oh, we might have run out of minerals in the main. <laughs> I think we actually did. Royal didn't have any minerals, did he? He's got 100 minerals in the bank and I don't think he has anything in the main. So running him all the way to nothing is that correct let me just jump back here for a second let me see if he had any minerals remaining right there at the end okay he still did have minerals he still did have some minerals so there was still a hope and a prayer that maybe he could get out and take that natural but dude after this command center went down You've got to be so frustrated here as well. It was very close to being uh, mined out. Super, super close. Let's watch that one more time because that was satisfying. The meat is here just picking away at that command center. He's so close to getting it here and he focuses it down. And it just barely burns in time. Look at that. Three, two, one. Boom. The SCV was just a second away, and he killed the tank, too. Very, good, very good stuff here from Larva. He makes the eggs, but he was a little bit slow on that. And that final fight... Oh, man. That final fight was dirty. Super, super dirty. With the Marines so spread out here. The Lurkers just being slightly on that high ground. 
It was a pretty good spread overall. Look at how good the spread is here from Royal. He really got his Marines into a very nice spread out position. Hard to get any Lurkers to actually hit multiple. Like if you target your Lurkers on this Marine, I think you only hit this Marine, maybe the corner of this Marine. If you target here, uh, I think you can kill these two. If you target here, probably the best. You can probably kill three this direction, but here's maybe two. You know, maybe here you could get maybe two or three. But he actually targeted there and killed the medics. So the medics like almost all died and only two medics survived. They don't have any energy on them. The Marines fought valiantly in this last battle. But he just barely pulls it out. Look at how low all of these were. Very low on that HP. Okay, these two lurkers were pretty good, but look at the mutas. Very, very low there. And I guess he looks at that and says, well, I guess we just aren't going to break out of here, are we? We don't have a tank. We've got three Marines remaining, one single vessel. And even though there's almost nothing left from Larva, Royal at this point, just feeling defeated, he manages... To bring it to a pretty interesting mid game, but Larva ultimately just the better player. He 3 0s Royal in this series, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That last game was absolutely epic. Really enjoyed actually both those two games. The, the second and third game were really fantastic. Shout out to Dude Nerd for sending those to me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.